Hi, and welcome to this video and a brief overview comparing two great medium-sized cargo ships and hopefully helping you decide on which cargo ship is right for you. The two ships I'm going to compare are the Freelancer Max and the new RSI Zeus Mark II CL variant, which is intended for commercial cargo transport. Both ships look like great options if you're in need of transporting cargo or ground vehicles. With that being said, let's go ahead and begin with just the specs. RSI Zeus Mark II CL Considered to be a medium-sized ship, up to three crew members, two size 4 pilot weapons, two medium fuel intakes, one medium quantum fuel tank, two size 2 power plants, two size 2 coolers, three size 2 shields, 10 maneuvering thrusters, 128 SCU of cargo space, and a size 2 tractor beam. Freelancer Max Considered a medium-sized ship, up to four crew members, four size three weapons, two medium fuel intakes, one medium quantum fuel tank, a single size two power plant, two size two coolers, two size two shields, 12 maneuvering thrusters, and 122 SEU of cargo space. When judging by these specs, I'm looking at it from the perspective of having the ability to transport goods efficiently and safely. So this would include speed, flight and atmosphere, durability, and ways to stay protected. Starting off with the pilot weapons, the Freelancer Max sports four size three gimbaled weapons compared to the Zeus CL. If you wanted to have gimbaled weapons with the CL, you would have to downsize the two size fours to two size three weapons, reducing your pilot firepower. I think since cargo appeals to a lot of newcomers, having two additional gimbaled weapons can really help those who are not combat experts. I give the Freelancer the edge on the pilot DPS. Things flip the other way when discussing shields. The Zeus CL has one additional size 3 shield over the Freelancer Max, giving it a range of 21 to 31,000 HP versus the 14 to 20,000 HP on the Max. Both have a remote turret, the difference being the Max has its turret on top while the CL has its on the bottom. I think this is a matter of preference since both will have one side that is vulnerable to an attack. However, roll speed can have an influence here. Looking at the cargo space provided, the CL carries an additional 6 SCU of cargo space. Typically, when trading and transporting goods, volume is key when it comes to profits. I don't believe the 6 SCU of cargo is going to have a huge impact here. I think both ships have an exceptional amount of cargo space for medium sized ships. From the looks of it, it's no surprise the Max is sporting the well-known bulky industrial look mix design it's known for. However, the size footprint is essentially the same, with the Max having a slightly wider stance. I've flown the Max often and I can say from personal experience, landing is not really an issue. So I suspect the CL will have the edge here with its foldable wings, giving it a slimmer profile than the Max, but not by much. Both ships have an almost identical setup, using a ladder as a main entrance with additional access from the cargo bay and docking port. Currently, the docking port for the MAX is located on the top of the ship. You would have to turn off the ship's gravity to exit the ship from the top, which is currently not possible until resource management makes it in-game. I'm curious to know if when CIG does a gold pass on the MAX, they'll update the main entrance to mirror the one on the Hall A. We'll have to wait and see. As for entering and exiting, I do not see any speed advantage on either ship. Here is where it gets a bit interesting. The CL comes equipped with a size 2 tractor beam at the rear of the ship. The Freelancer Max does not have a tractor beam, but does carry one additional crew member. I initially thought the tractor beam was a clear advantage for the CL. However, the tractor beam requires an operator leaving two crew members to help in other areas. With a crew of four within the max, you can mix and match responsibilities however you see fit, easily on the move with more hands. So I don't see the tractor beam as an immediate win, although there can be certain scenarios where this is a huge benefit. For example, if you're flying solo and picking up cargo outside, you may be able to save some time not having to leave the cockpit at all. If you're looking to solo this ship most of the time, this can be a handy feature. When flying in atmosphere, the MAX has some of the larger capacitor levels in-game. 
currently, you can boost your engines when leaving the atmosphere for long periods of time and rapidly recharge when all power is focused on the engines. We won't know what the CEL will have until it's released in game, but I'm willing to say the CEL will most likely not match up to the capacitor levels of the MAX, looking at what was recently released with a similar comparable ship like the Crusader Spirit. Having this capability on the MAX is a huge plus with overall flight. Speaking of atmosphere, I suspect maneuvering will be polar opposites given that the CL has a more aerodynamic design. Again, I think the recently released Crusader Spirit may be a good comparable on what we can possibly expect from the CL. When trying to fly the MAX, you tend to depend a lot on boost to correct your direction and movement since it's not optimized for atmosphere flight. The MAX does look to have bigger, more powerful engines than the CL, so I'm curious to know how that will translate in fuel consumption. When it comes to living space, the MAX can really use an update. Crew beds, shower and toilet, and kitchenette all occupy the same corridor, making it quite difficult to move around if you have a fully crewed ship with four people. I really hope during the Gold Pass, that CIG takes some design cues from the Hall A and maybe extend the living quarters to the docking port area, giving it some much needed breathable room. Unlike the CL, which has its corridor separating a small mess hall and crew beds, it's a much cleaner design for movement throughout the ship. As for component access, they seem to be very accessible within the cargo bay on both ships. I don't believe there will be any issue here. When carrying ground vehicles, the Freelancer Max can fit an Ursa along with a Grey Cat Rock at the same time. While the CL, the ramp door doesn't quite match up with the Freelancer and it was already mentioned to fit a Cyclone, so my guess is an Ursa would not fit in the CL. Depending if you're in need of transporting a ground vehicle with a walk-in interior, it may have an impact on your decision until CIG produces something smaller than an Ursa to provide the same protection. I will note that the Drake Mule would pair up very nicely for both ships. To conclude, I would say depending on your playstyle, whether you like riskier cargo missions and tend to do a lot of combat, will determine what ship is right for you. If you want firepower, I'd say consider the Freelancer Max with the 4 size 3 weapons and the defense turret at the top rear. In a fight, you would have the front and back coverage with plenty of protection from the two size 2 shields. Also, the MAX would do just fine if you're planning to do a lot of space flight and avoiding heavy atmosphere planets. If you're looking to avoid combat, then the CL may be the right choice for you. Its bottom turret has a more of a front facing position, helping the pilot win on the offense. This can make up for any discrepancies when it comes to pilot combat skills. You also have the extra size 2 shield providing some insurance in a getaway and will most likely handle much better in atmosphere with its aerodynamic design. I feel that I covered most of the pros and cons that come to mind for both ships. Personally, I'm deciding on moving forward with the CL since I'm typically a solar player and see myself in need of the tractor beam. In addition, with the new flight controls coming into the game, I really enjoyed the flight simulation in atmosphere. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and felt it might have helped you on deciding between these two cargo ships. And if so, please leave a like for the video. Also, tell me what you think of these ships. Did I miss anything? Do you like mixed design over RSI? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.